Hello and welcome back. So we are finally leaving Nakataka. Well, more like it this time because last time we just uh, fought a bunch of ships. And the crew is still somewhat unhappy. Not really sure why. They're getting paid. Their alien ship? Let's see. Beto points at the ship in the distance. Galleon, Captain. A free master, or it was. Not remains of the ship, uh, four masts, save a splintered stump, and the bowsprit has been sheared off. See how they crippled her? That's the work of pirates, principally most likely, and probably the upstairs if they are raiding this uh, close to Valian patrol routes. She had messed the Delhi aliens close. They all have taken any gold, but they might have left supplies. Irina's brow is damp and with sweat. We shouldn't stick around. If the Valians see us plundering one of their ships, they won't give us a chance to explain. Uh, just pull up alongside it. Go salvage whatever is left. We call it the rescue mission. You take a small boarding party and scour the galleon. Most of its cargo and all of its crew are missing, but you do find several barrels of fresh water and a few sacks of dried rice and a coarse meal. Your competent hands make quick work of the task. You return to the ship and order Beldo to set sail. Sure. Alright. Crew is eager to leave. We're going. Dunnage. Do we wanna attack the Deadfire Merchant? Unaffiliated mer Merchant Sloop. Wait, we can't attack it? Wait, can we? Come on! I wanna fight a, a trade! Whatever! I'm leaving! Maybe I'm not supposed to take those. Oh, the morale is work going down because some of the crew is working with injury. Wow, Whalian? Those guys hate me! Oh, what? Is my ship completely busted? Well, it's not the best. Give no quarter charge. Oh, we're gonna take some hull damage and sail damage. Do it. It's not the best, but we got in close. This is the only way to avoid the whole uh, text adventure. You just go in and go for a regular fight. Yeah. Why so many guys? I I guess like it looks silly, but like, yeah, I suppose a lot of people can. Uh, can be kept in the hole. I just take a better position. What? Like, I wasn't kidding about that. Come on, turn around. Time to do something. Oh no! I had to cancel everybody's order because I gave a move order by accident. Let's go. Do we have devotions of the faithful on everybody? If not, we should definitely have that. Kill Dutilla? Is that who we are fighting here? These guys are not that hard to kill. Still got it. Damn. 
Someone is charmed? Okay. We gain some morale. Fine rip here. Yeah, these are fine. Take call and continue. So it seems like the morale is mainly going down because uh, injured crewmates are working. And I might be able to fix that. Because these guys are injured, these guys are injured. I can't fix that. <laughs> we have free spares. Also, I would like... Like, this would be another excellent opportunity to say that, hey, injured crewmates uh, just sit out. Automatically. Do you really wanna micromanage it? I personally don't really want to. Maybe we don't wanna storm... Uh, just ship into the storm, so we're gonna avoid that storm. And go that way. Well, the morale is going down right now, but we got some good AL, so... Hey, it's all gonna be good. Oh, look at that. The island Tuk Tuk. What a legendary island that is. Wonder who named it. Hmm. Burial site. A tomb rises from the earth before you. Its stone exterior is well wrought and decorated with reliefs of Tengola and Nigati. It's likely, it, it likely houses the body of someone important uh, to a local Huana tribe. Let's search it. Search it. Keep searching. Nothing. Local Huanas. Do you care? 36 the daily wage. As you travel northwest, you discover a broad channel separating you from the flat expanse of a sandy island. A, booty, a wooden bridge spans the waterway, easily wide enough to accommodate a cart or a horse. A crowd uh, throngs the bridge, an eclectic um, managery of uh, clean clothed valians, Amana in bright and colorful robes, and even the Odd Orlan. Down the hill by the water's edge, a small cluster of Almana have gathered. Walk onto the bridge. The bridge seems relatively new. A little worn for something on the coast, the flat slats are utterly without ostentation. The structure crafted solely for functionality. The quiet murmur of conversation rises as you approach, entirely overwhelming the Sussurus of the sea. And Orlan, his deep brown fur, a close match to the boards beneath your feet, approaches you and doffs a wide-brimmed hat as he bows. Greetings, stranger! Come to I the race? Uh, these people came here to watch a race? The Orlan grins. Ain't from around here, are you? His red Saren accent suggests that he isn't either. That's a local tradition. Swim race up the Oza Channel after the after a big storm when the current's at its strongest. Peter gets um. He scratches the back of his head. Some kind of a Guga or some such bragging rights too. He smiles, rubbing his fingers together as if to indicate coin, but. For us foreign, non-swimming types, there's a bit of action in the betting. Ah. Can I participate in the race? He scratches the top of his head. Not really sure. Can't say it up to me either way. We'd want to talk to them down the riverside. Alright. Approach the Omana. From the shore you see the channel's current seems significantly stronger than it had from afar, perhaps fed by the recent storms. Juana gathered here, garbed in thin robes and little else, watches you approach. One step forward, her 
own gown in far brighter colors than those around her. She cans her head to the side. You look bedraggled, stranger, as if the sea spat you upon our shore. What for you come here to watch? Examine the competitors. Oh, we got this. The largest of them, a bald woman, is all muscle. She could be menacing in a fight, but in the water, the bulk might slow her down. One of them, a man with tightly curled blonde hair, combines lean muscle with a compact frame. As he stretches, he watches the water as if it were an old friend. You doubt that third, a gangly teen, should even be here. A light wind might carry him away. I'd like to join the race. What's your only check? On second thought, I would not like to join the race. <laughs> Who stands the best chance of winning? He chuckles, a hand flat upon her stomach. The one that got the favors. As sure as the tide. But you don't miss her glance towards the wiry, blonde Uamana. Return to the bridge. People with, yeah, people with money. Okay. It's 10 shells to bet, that roughly 15 pounds, and you bet I'll happily take that in copper or silver. Odds are 3 to 1 on that big bold woman. The wiry blonde pays 5 to 1. If you bet on the ropey kid and you win, you net 10 times what you put in. <laughs> I... I'm betting on the Almana. 50 copper. Lean blonde looks like he knows the way around the river. He chuckles as he takes your purse. Maybe you have got an eye for this, or maybe you like to live dangerously. Let's watch the race. If that guy's not winning, we're killing him. Also, the bookie. You join the Orland by the rail and watch as the Almana on the shore disrobe. They crouch on the stones along the water as the master of ceremonies lifts a hand above her head. When she drops it, they flash into the water like cannonballs. One of the Juana, you notice, struggles to remain in the, in the pack. No, he's struggling just to stay above water. His desperate gasps carry down the channel. Priest of Berat, you're dead. Rest in peace. Dive and help him to shore. Throw him a line. You run along the shore, pulling out a rope and hook as you go. You skid to a stop, swing the hook and hurl it overhead and into the water near the swimmer. He clings to it and you reel him into the shore. Why is, this le why is that less benevolent? It's not only more effective, but also... I don't know, we're still helping. Ah, oh, I lost. I even lost the grappling hook. The large bald woman pulls ahead and reaches the goal first. The crowd roars as she walks onto the far shore. Fists raise victoriously. The young swimmer squeezes your arm. Many thanks, Akira. Wanna moderate positive? The crowd on the bridge thins and the commotion dies down. Your journey continues. Well, thanks for that. What is this? Okay. You can just literally buy fish and that's all. Great. Um, they don't even have a lot of fish. So I guess time to bail. Oh, some... Loose cargo. Port Maya. Velvetter Cormio. Uh oh. <laughs> Damn! What's the status of our ship? Not that. Oh. Booty hole strength? Uh. Charge! Crap! 
We might lose all the whole strength. Do it. It's pretty unlikely. It's only 28 hole damage. We're fine. There we go. <laughs> Damn. We need a ship. It's not about cannons, it's all about boarding people. What the hell is that? Why does everyone have a bigger ship than me? This is bullshit. Okay, we don't need uh, to hurry here. Putting up the fast speed. Wait. Okay. Still feels pretty fast. Who are you? Soti? We're really killing them. We're blowing them up. Damn. Who's charmed? Oh, they're dead. Okay, bit awkward. Take all their stuff. Well, could have. You guys could have avoided that. You come upon an abandoned sloop run aground on the beach. The nearby coral and volcanic rocks may have smashed its hull to kindling, but there is still be something salvageable in the hold. Let's check it out. Nothing of value. Pry bar. Nothing. Useless. And a cannon in the end. That's all. We need to repair the hull. Sail strength, whole health. That's what we need. I might even have to take the ship back uh, to the shop. Oh, this is where we met with the steel preachers. Can we repair the hole? Burial site. We are. We, well, I guess we are repairing the hole. Kind of, but not fast enough. So I don't care about cannons, it's all about whole strength and speed. Mostly about whole strength. Steel Preacher. Ah, oh, we got these guys. All right. We got trouble, folks. What? <laughs> Salty, what are you doing? What? She's dead? How did that happen? Let's do a heal quick. Maybe this. Undred? Estimated these guys. Do they have a buff? Yeah, we do have a buff of the faithful. Let's do a big heal. That was about as useful as a bump. Yeah, Steel Preacher, what about you? What kind of armor does he has? Immune to fire, especially resistant to hacking and piercing. These guys are not even fighting us. That's awesome. Magronite fanatic. 
need something stronger. Not really an easy fight, but still, got it. still doing okay. This thing isn't doing the job. Just blow them up. Oh, Soti's dead. This thing isn't doing the job. We're not done yet. That's right. Yeah, on your ass. Me too. This thing isn't doing the job. Let's go. Wow, this Quick, thing doesn't else. die easy. Ah, too slow. Turn this on. Why is she taking damage? Try something else. No, 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 don't run away. Just say the word. If it's possible... Okay, let's just rest. Okay. Not like anyone is nearby who would interrupt this uh, little nap time, right? Leave it to me. Let's see what they got. I really want to see something... Uh, good. Grant's Crackling Bolt, Shock Repulsion... Shock damage attacks. What? This is terrible. Really? This is all we have? Magunite champion. Yeah, just kill that. Then kill this one. Everybody. Okay, seems like that's it. The Steel Preacher was probably a mission. Uh, at least, I believe so. But yeah, we wanted to take it out anyway. Hmm. Where to next? First of all, we need to make sure that we don't... Oh, actually, we can get into a fight. If the crew repairs the ship. That's garbage. Burial site means free loot. Let's check it out. Let's search it. Fine war bow. There's nothing here. What a scam. They didn't leave enough loot. Five minor healing potion. Alright. We need to get out of here. What is that? Unaffiliated merchant. Wait a s oh never mind that. I know about that. Can we attack the ship? Attack! Seems like an easy mission. Close the board. We gotta take some hull damage. But this is nothing new for us. <laughs> I'm a little bummed that we can't take their ship. Isn't that the whole point? Not like we're destroying it. I mean, it would be probably too easy. What? I did he take so much damage? He literally has the same garbage ship as I do. I don't think this is gonna go well for them. Uh, 
this. I'll reap what I sow. Can you just intimidate them? That would be okay. Like, like your money or your life? Way? Do we suffer negatives for taking out these uh, traders? I don't know. Uh, the crew definitely doesn't like it when I do it because apparently they take damage all the time. Oh, never mind that. I guess we're not going there. Abandoned village? I'm not gonna read everything. I do read almost everything, but some of these uh, texts are just not that important. Like, you're searching, then you're searching again, then you're searching again. Swan so swept ruins. Wait a second. Oh, text adventure. Searing hot winds rip across the dunes. You shield your face from the onslaught, but it's of little use. Sand makes its way into every vulnerable little crevice it can find. You spot a structure ahead. Forge ahead uh, through the sandstorm. Up close it appears to be the ruins of an ancient Huana building, perhaps a temple. An obscured entrance leads into a sand-covered hillside. Really? Nice. Should I just kill everybody on C? <laughs> I still don't know. Sounds Sounds like not not the good guy thing to do. But hey. Okay. Oh no. What did you find she? Can we go through it? Find she? What? Wait. That should be like that. We here. What did you find? Is she just get rid of it? Okay. Keep your weather eye open. Garbage. Oh, nice. They show. Show. Why are you not be finding this first? Like? Ooh, yourself a look at that, mate. They show. Shooter. Why are you not be finding this? They so show. many traps. Shooter. Why are you not be finding this first? Like? They show. Shooter. Why you not be finding this? It's a good way to show them. What? Uh oh. We here. I guess one or two traps uh, right there as well. Whoa! Run! Looks like we did end up triggering a trap. Sigil of death. Whoa! What the hell? Out of nowhere, free injuries. Holy crap, we need to rest. I guess we might need to turn off those sigils of death before trying to run in. So I guess we're going back over here. Damn. Seriously? Hey, not my thing. Do you guys like traps? What is this? Ooh. 
More traps. Look at that, Mike. Nightcap. Keep your weather eye open. I might just need to turn off the auto pause. Because there are just way too many traps. It triggers way too often. What did you find, Ishii? What did you find, Ishii? Oh, baby. What are we here? Trap disarm. What? We failed. Okay, stop. It doesn't work. Will you guys step on it? What did you find, Ishii? What did you I think they're gonna step on it. I could go for some shut eye about now. What are we here? Nightcap. What? What? We here. We have three injuries again. What? Oh, it gives us injuries. The hell is this? Find, is we need to rest. The hell is that? Rest. Yeah, it just gives us injuries. Well, that could have gone. A quick rest would help if you don't mind. Yeah, I think we have to do that. What the hell is this? We're spending days in this cavern. More traps. Do I need to pull them at the same time? On the altar before you, uh, rests a spiked hammer and a kit skull gone yellow with age. Examine the altar. Wrought of ancient stone, this altar has been has seen better days, though it's remarkably clean for value where you found it. Its base is riddled with cracks, and the grasping metal hands at its corners are listing to the right. Let's pick up the skull. Lift the hammer from the altar. You gingerly take the hammer, testing its weight in hand, you discover it's surprisingly well balanced. I gained the last word. It's kinda garbage. And the great stone door behind you slams shut with a floor shuddering bang. Sand begins to pour into the room through the holes in the wall. Am I dead? Sand pours into the room, pulling at your ankles, rising higher with every moment. The only way out is the stone door behind you and it's sealed tight. A lob a grenade at the door. Cast a corrosive spell at the door. We don't have it! <laughs> Attempt to open the door. I'm strong. You grip the edge of the door and pull. Door grinds open an inch. Push harder. With a cry of exertion, you shove the door open a few more feet. There might be just enough room for the rest of the party to squeeze through the gap. Heave the door open. You shove the door, muscles straining against the weight. The sand rises to your knees. You throw the door open and hold it in place while the rest of the party makes their escape. When everyone is safe, you dart into the hallway. The door slams shut 
beha behind you. What a terrible place. Can you guys not step on the trap? I know, it's it's a very revolutionary idea. But like, hey, I know. Crazy thing. Let's just try it. Uh, sure. Yeah. So great. Can we just run in? Why not? I swear. She actually dies. That's amazing. We have some exceptional gear there, but you gain so many injuries while going inside that you die. The one that might make it is Adair. If you really wanna hmm? sure. get that gear, because he's slightly faster, take it, run. Some shut up about now. And we're gonna rest. Hmm. Damn. There's a better way to defend the. Uh, I don't know, some old tomb. Why not just close it off? Why not just bury something? Oh, we can. Ooh, we need to name this island. I'm fucking hell. Well, it's a trap. It's a trap. Let's go with that. The path winds up into the hills, narrowing to a little wider than a cart. The cliffs oof, offer a sheer drop into down into the crashing sea, the water foaming white where it throws itself against the rocks. You realize that what you initially took to be several large lumpy stones are in fact Eotum, two-headed monstrosities. As you watch, one of them absent-mindedly lifts a boulder and throws it into the sea. The Eotum guffle, their laughter guttural. Speak to the builder. The Eotum grunt as you approach, pressing against the stone. They push themselves to their feet. Food at last! One bellows happily. They heft heavy, three trunks over their shoulder. You know, your friends have been hiding fruit from you, right? Huh. Oh, it's not gonna work! No! No! Your friends have been hiding food from you, okay? Doubt it. One of the beasts says it scratches its belly. No food for weeks. The other shakes its head slowly, almost sadly. Food here now, though. Soft morsels filled with juice. The stone trembles as they advance. Damn. I don't think you, you even get the bonuses uh, from your party members when it comes to these checks. I really need more conversation skills <gasps> on oh my, on oh my main character. Survival, we don't need it on the main character, but conversation skills, that's what we need the most. Then I have insight, which is good. What the hell? How did they sneak up on us so, so much? I guess they just go like that. Uh oh. They closed in a little bit. Well, let's see it then. Got it. 
Oh, nice one, Aoten. Thumbs down. He's going with the thumbs down skill. We charmed him. That didn't really look like a good way to die. We gained some XP for killing the Otan. Well, let's just leave. Poor guys. They were hungry. Probably not that many places around here. As you descend from the high mountain paths, you find a small camp nestled in the sand. Tense, tired horses with their legs camped out, campfires crackling. It seems far too active for an ambush to be, uh, to be in wait. A small group approaches, a motley band of kit bearing quality arms and armor. The foremost, a deeply tanned dwarf, raises a hand in greeting. You coming with down the pass? She asks. Don't suppose that means you've dealt with those filthy Elton, does it? Yep. Well, let's say I had killed them, how much would that be worth to you? The adventurers glance among themselves and the dwarf scratches her head. Honestly, i would not given it a lot of thought. Usually people pay us to go killing things, but these demi Otan have been blocking the journey inland for weeks. They am near crushed midge with a rock. The smell heart Orlan nods vigorously. Too close by half, almost took my ear off. The dwarf looks you over. You seem a forthright sort. Let's say an even 2000 copper in a mixed currency, of course. They are very dead. Now pay up. No, I don't know. Pay up. The wound claps. Outstanding. Best damn news I've heard in weeks. The Oman is standing behind the dwarf's sides. And here I thought we'd have an opportunity to test our mettle on this adventure. The roped pale elf glances at her. Death finds us all the time. Moncha, no need to rush to his embrace. That's exactly my motto as well. The party's small Orlan tosses you a heavy punt pouch. Your coin is requested. Nice. The dwarf gestures toward the tents. Seeing as you've gotten our whole venture started up again, the least we could do is let you share our fire for a spell. I wanted to kill you guys, not sure why. But it's good to see such a mixed group of adventurers uh, like mine. Join their camp. You step into the camp and come to sit beside the fire. Although it looks like they intended to put it out before you got there. The Yamana feeds it another log. The dwarf gestures to a pot hanging over the flames. Got some stew left, fish and veggies. Nothing fancy. Attempt to steal from them? Are they ready to just take your stuff? Know anything about this land? What? <laughs> oh yeah, I know this island, it's called- IT'S A TRAP! The explorer shakes her head with a snort. Hardly seen most of it. Came on land few times that way. She jerks a thumb towards the western coast. God's uh, benighted Eotan prevented us from going any further. The Valian grouses. And the Orlan's ears uh, bounce with her vigorous nod. The dwarf smiles. We're looking for some ruins that are supposedly out there. Island so desolate though, it's hard to imagine anyone building on it. But certainly... Sandy, thanks. The Valian laughs, a warm, quick sound that slips away as quickly as it appeared. Ugh, quite true. I've... Sand in places I didn't know I had. I weep for the woman who will know... Me after this place. The Orlan shakes her head. We all weep for the woman with the misfortune to know you. Jealously, he winks at you. Midge resents my innumerable conquests. Midge crosses her arms and raspberries hardly.
Eat and rest. You eat with the explorers, sharing tales over the dying fire. Eventually you call it a night and they offer you a fallen comrade's tent for the evening. Waking up, you thank the group and take your leave. They wish you safe travels. What? I really... They didn't even try to kill me and steal from me? That's insane! Ah, I kinda feel like renaming this island. I'm not sure if it uh, if the name is fitting now. Wait. Yeah. We should come this way. Just to explore everything. I'm gonna go to the corner. Yep. I think it would be better if you, you actually saw the map. Or at least you could like buy maps. Of course like exactly knowing where people are. Maybe a bit too much, but like I'm just saying the islands. Just some just some idea of what the hell is going on there. The crew permanently has one morale. Except when we take over ship. In which case is uh they just uh get blown to bits. <laughs> what? You find two of your crew members playing a game in the holds? What? You're examining cargo in the hold when you sound the... When the sound of whispers and muted laughter draws you deeper into the darkness. You carefully round a stack of crates to find Irana and Jir the right-handed engaged in a round of Orland's head. Irana salutes. Hello, Captain. We are putting down copper on Orland's head if you're looking to join for a round. Ah, what's Olin had? You carve an Olin into the mast like so, during the red-handed grins, gesturing a crudely, a crudely rendered figure that comically large ears and a rabbit nose. Then you throw daggers at it. Each part is worth a different number of points, on account of some being harder to hit than others. The nose, for example, it's worth lots of points. Really? Okay, like, give give 50 copper, sure I can play around. Fantastic! Jure the right handed takes a step back, I'll sit this one out, I don't like losing coin. I lost copper, Irina chuckles, produces a dagger and spends on an unnecessary length of time aiming the shot before losing it at Orlan. The dagger sinks into the Orlan's ear and Jure the right handed chuckles. That's seven points for Irana, Captain. Can you top that? <laughs> Attempt to cheat. Irina retrieves the dagger, wiping the blade on a pants leg before passing the weapon to you. Handle first. Your turn, Captain. Let's see how you fare against the Dreaded Orlin. Try to land one in the Orlin's nose. You let out the dagger you let the daggers fly, and with a heavy palm the lodge. You lodged into the Orleans, uh... The fur? What? You let the daggers fly with a heavy thump, lodge it into the Orleans, the fur. Okay. A hit, Captain. That's two points for you. That's a total headshot! And you sure you're just making this up? Irina chuckles, produces a dagger, and spends an unnecessary length of time aiming the shot before losing it at the Orlin. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna read it anymore. Mouth shot is 5 points. Okay. Orlin no shot again. Final score, 10 for Rirana, 12 for the captain. Captain winner, we got more money from the crew. I was kind of hoping that, oh, they're happy because I played with them. Oh, ain't that nice. That's so nice. We can check out this island. Anyway, guys, 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.